Okay, ten talks? Whatever happened to those things? Well, had some technical issues, I guess you could say. Uh, more camera mount issues um, is what was really going on. So, this may not be all that interesting to uh, anybody that may be interested in talking about current events or something like that, but I thought this was kind of interesting for me because uh, video is kind of a big thing that I do and that I like to do. So I figured I'd just kind of talk about where the 10 talks have been. At this time, most of the time that I have to work on video or shooting videos is definitely has been either driving in my car or on my breaks at work. You know, one of the cool things about filming in the car is the lighting. The lighting is really great without having to set up lights. You got the big windshield with a front light and the side windows are kind of like key lights from the side which light it up and then the back windows are um, tinted so you got backlight coming in but it's not overpowering it's not as bright as the front light uh, today it's kind of cloudy so it kind of got overcast light as opposed to a sunny day of light the only issue is um, the problem with glasses and lights for video is the glare you can't see my eyes but I have to tilt them down like this and that kind of works but otherwise um, the lighting inside the car is actually actually pretty nice before I started working out of the house I had a lot more time to work on videos I pretty much did that mostly full time and uh, you know I had my desktop computer at home used Final Cut Pro on that and then it died about three years ago. So that kind of changed things around, but I think God was kind of transitioning me there because soon after that, I needed to get some work to bring in some income. Uh, and um, I was going to start using mobile devices, using a cell phone for uh, my work, the two jobs that I've had since that time. And that's when just just before that time is when I got my first cell phone. Oh, this guy's not even going to let me in, which was just in time to be able to use that for the, the jobs up that I was going to get. And it has turned out to be that it's amazing what you can do on the cell phone. I shoot videos with it. Uh, I edit videos with it now. Um, I can't do as much using iMovie as I could with Final Cut Pro, but I don't have as much time to do as much as I used to either. So, this has worked out great because I have it with me all the time and I can be working on it anytime that I have available, which a big part of the time that I have available for shooting videos like the 10 Talks is while I'm driving or on my breaks at work in the car. Shooting video, editing video, uploading video, entering descriptions and tags and everything. I, can, I do it all on my phone and the video and audio is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, not as good as my big camera, but it's, it's amazing the quality that you can actually get now just on a phone. So, I was kind of all set up for that, but one of the issues I had was that um, I've got this one mount that I have that's a, a tabletop tripod that works really good. I love the thing, man. It is awesome. You can use it in a lot of different places, and it kind of took the place of my my pod. It's called a pod. It's basically a round beanbag with a little camera mount screw like a tripod has on the top of it and you can kind of place that thing anywhere that's that's what I had before this and but the problem I had with the tabletop one is that it doesn't fit in my personal car on the dash it's not deep enough then it hits on the 
uh, windshield, so there's not enough room for that. In my work car, if I'm sitting there on a break, that dash is really big. I can use it there. It works great. But I can't use it moving because it'll slide off the dash uh, when I turn or anything like that. So in the personal car, I've used it a couple of times, I think. I've used it a couple of times, maybe only once. But the beanbag mount, it works good. It forms to the dash and where I want to have it. It's not exactly at the right height that I would like to have it. But the problem with it is the, the bigger camera screws right onto it so it's kind of low profile and the bigger cam is heavier so it helps to keep that that mount um, in place but for the cell phone I need to use a cell phone holder that screws on there so it's kind of a little more high profile and whenever I start stop turn it moves around and on that video the one video that I know that I shot in this car on that you can see me constantly needing to fix it and move it and it was just a pain in the butt and it just really was hard to get the framing to stay right on it I tried shooting the second video yeah, that's right that was, I think it was I shot one that I uploaded and put out and the second one I was doing it and oh man, it was just impossible. It was moving all over the place. And finally I said, forget it, this isn't working. So I knew I needed to get another mount for the car. So I started doing research, which is, I do that a lot. I try to research a lot, looking at reviews and everything to find out. And uh, I had a, I have a, I want, what I really wanted was I wanted to get a really heavy duty suction cup mount that will go on the windshield. And I know I have one for my GoPro camera that was really good, really heavy duty. So I started looking at a, uh, an adapter to be able to, use, to hook to the cell phone mount that I have and hook it to the suction cup mount for the GoPro. But some of the reviews, it was, sounding like um, it, they didn't really fit right and you had to customize it to work right and it was loose it wouldn't stay tight and just I wasn't really feeling good about it. it would have been cheaper to go that route but it just didn't sound so good so I kept researching and I came across this this one that I have now and it sounded really good it looked like it had the heavy duty suction cup like my um, GoPro, but it's made for mounting cell phones on the windshield. So kind of thought about it and looked and nothing else looked as good. It was more expensive, of course, but I decided since I was feeling led to do these kind of videos, I needed something and I wanted to get something that was really going to work and wasn't going to be a hassle, something that I had to return or anything like that. So I got this thing and man, this thing is, I'm really happy with this. It's solid, it is really solid. It's got a quick release so the, the phone can release really quick. And it's really quick and easy to mount it after you set it up, configure it to the phone. And so I'm pretty stoked. I think I'm back in business now. I'm able to get ready to do these 10 talks. This is the first one coming back, driving home from work right now. And I was kind of alternating uh, different things that's going on in our life, different things that we're doing in the 10 talks, but I think I've had three or four of um, vlog videos that I've done of different events, big events. I hadn't been able to alternate it like I, I was doing because I had a lot of videos kind of built up for a while, but I'm back in business now. Let's see where we are. Oh, we're at 1027. We're going over a little bit here. I need to end it. I need to end it. And I didn't want this one that long. But anyway, so yeah, I'm back up. Going to be able to do 10 talks. I'm set up to be able to do these in my personal vehicle again now. And I, I'm pretty stoked about this mount. It's pretty solid. A little more expensive, but I think it may be worth it. Because it's going to do what I need it to do. 10 talks. Back in business. I got to cut it off. 
talk to you guys next time.